As far as a vaccine procurement uh, is concerned, uh, it is a multi, uh, <clears throat> or I, I can say a two, we use a, uh, use a two-prong approach uh, in our strategy of uh, procuring vaccine. First is that we have already joined the uh, COVAX uh, facility, uh, which will uh, eventually uh, provide about 35% of uh, vaccine uh, to the people uh, according to the Hong Kong uh, population. Second, we will also look into uh, the scientific data uh, and also <clears throat> the latest data provided by the different uh, uh, vaccine uh, manufacturers uh, to be scrutinized by our uh, Department of Health uh, Scientific Committee so that um, we can uh, look at the safety, uh, the efficacy, as well as the quality uh, of the vaccine to ensure the vaccine that we will be procuring uh, are up to standard. And uh, I also uh, have uh, said earlier that we will uh, procure at least you know, two types of uh, vaccine from two uh, different manufacturers and two uh, different uh, platform, pla uh, vaccine platforms. Uh, of course, uh, the selection uh, would be again, you know, based on uh, scientific uh, data uh, scrutiny. Uh, as far as the number uh, is concerned, uh, we would like to procure at least uh, two times of our Hong Kong population. And the reason being, uh, if one of the vaccine that we procure uh, would not be able to successfully uh, manufactured for whatever reasons because all those are uh, all those vaccines are only in their third stage of clinical trial right now so we have to uh, re review the data uh, uh, look at the situation uh, before we can uh, uh, procure you know all these vaccines so uh, procuring uh, two times of the uh, our population would provide some safety net uh, so that if one of the vaccines are not working out, then uh, we would still have a vaccine uh, enough for the people in Hong Kong.